Good morning guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I wanted to give you a cow update. I just went out here and gave the cows hay and as you can see it has become a nice and beautiful little herd. Sally has come down, she is not scared anymore, actually sometimes she runs around a little bit in place with the calf. But I still think that she's a little weird and things have really changed. You know, this is the, the mama cow, the old one that used to be the leader and now Sally, she's just gone up in the hierarchy and now it seems like everybody's following her and I'm not so happy with that because she's still not the nice and calm cow that would come to me and that I can have the good contact with and she has never had a calf and that is abnormal that a cow like that would actually be the leader cow which is a bummer um, it, I, I feel like it puts a little bit of a weird dynamic into the herd and um, we'll see if that changes I think we will give Sally a chance to get a calf if it doesn't work um, we can still um, yeah then we can slaughter her but this is how it is it's very very nice to have all four cows and the calf here and um, I believe the next step will be to buy a bull now let me also update you on the on the insulated water tank here so I'm at the lake right now it's beautiful absolutely beautiful it's negative five degrees below freezing the lake has not started to freeze yet because it has been quite windy and it's supposed to get a bit colder tonight and then warm up and we'll, we're supposed to get some rain and has been very unstable winter weather but um, I don't mind it right now I have a lot of projects that I can do when it's milder weather usually we get our um, colder winter weather with more snow and colder temperatures after New Year so we'll see just getting some water right now filling this tank up for the um, heated tank in the greenhouse and for the cows and um, then I will show you a little bit what my thought is for that insulated heater to keep the water from freezing how many of you guys are interested in fishing I know some of you want us to video some ice fishing and stuff like that. I can say that I've done that once in my life. I'm not a big ice fisher. But what we do in the summer is we take our boat out and then um, up there where the peninsula ends, we are um, putting our net in the lake. We have to check it daily, ideally twice a day. And we get a few fish every day. So next spring there will be videos of that coming. Now I don't know if you can see this here, but those are air bubbles and there is some kind of leak in the hose and the pump is sucking air and that's also why I can run it on full speed. I think I have to buy a new hose. When it's this cold sometimes it cracks a little bit and this really takes me twice as long to fill this tank up. Okay, now this four-wheeler will have to pull up roughly 1,500 kilos, one and a half ton, up that hill. Okay, so I made it all the way here, but now on the snow, the quad won't drive any further. I have to take the winch and pull it out. need to try to get on the ground where there's no snow and ice.
duck again. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm filling this waterer up. The cows are standing right there, waiting for the water. They had a lot of snow and puddles here, so I haven't filled it up yet. But you can see here that the box is insulated everywhere except for here. I wanted to have enough space so they would feel comfortable going in it with their head and drinking. Animals don't like tight spaces like sheep and cows when they drink. They wanted to have op to be open and the water to be calm. And um, this water has a certain temperature out of itself and this insulation will prevent it from cooling down so quickly. And um, what it will do now, it will start freezing on top um, where it's open, but it won't freeze so easily on the bottom. And we're going to put either a little aquarium air pump in there or a heating cable. And um, with just a few watts, I should be able in most temperature and weather conditions to keep this water from freezing. We'll have to see now when it gets very cold. Tonight it's supposed to be negative 7 Celsius, which is not that cold. Um, it can get negative 25 here in January, no problem. And then it'll be a little more challenging. Um, but we'll, we'll see. This is, a, this is a test and I'm refilling this fairly often anyway. And when it's that cold, usually as there's snow and the animals don't drink as much anyway. These Highland cattle, they, they like being in the wild and like to eat snow and all of that stuff. I will still offer them water all the time though. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the little cow update. Um, they're all doing well and they're happy and um, I see you in the next video. I wish you all the best in the whole preparation before Christmas and everything. Don't stress out too much. So um, have a good day. See you. Bye-bye.